Hi guys, good morning. In this video, we're going to see the problem longest cycle in a graph. It is marked as a hard problem, but it is medium, easy to medium kind of problem. Medium, let's say medium, but not a hard. That makes sure. Like if you had just even had a graph, small idea, still it's not a hard problem. Let's see the problem pretty quickly. It's it's easy yet yeah. you are given a directed graph directed graph is that in which you can just move from node a to node b and not vice versa if the direction is from node a to node b of n nodes numbered from 0 to n minus 1 the nodes are numbered from 0 to n minus 1 cool where each node has at most one outgoing edge each node has at most one outgoing edge which means that a node maybe it has no outgoing edge at all or a node it can have one outgoing edge it may be with a chance that okay this the node right here it has no outgoing edge possible the node right here it can have one outgoing edge to let's say another node but it can't be possible that this node has two outgoing edges to other nodes it's a very 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 important condition which makes this question very easy let's see the graph is represented with a with a given zero next integer array edges of size n indicating there is a directed edge from node i to edges of i cool which means that okay we have edges of i where node i has an edge to edge of i if there is no outgoing edge from node i then that edge of i is minus one basically if the edge see it has it had no edge right so it will just say a minus one to actually show that it has no edges cool no worries return the longest cycle in the graph return the length of the longest cycle in the graph first leave also cycle cycle is a path which starts and ends on the same node if i start on a node i go to next node next node next node next node next node next node i reach back to this node it's a cycle we have to return the length of the longest cycle so let's break this problem length of the longest cycle how about i find the length of all the cycles and maybe after that i can just choose out what's the length of the longest cycle cool so firstly i'll think okay now i'll find the length of all the cycles let's see how a cycle would look like so if we have something like this I just made a random graph, a random, very random graph. So a cycle would look, would look something like this, right? One, two, three, four, five, and back to one. Cool. Another cycle could, could look something like this. Six, six, seven, eight, two. Six, seven, eight, three, two, and back to six. So you can easily see, okay, I had one cycle right here and one cycle right here. But, but, but. In the problem, I was given that I have at most one outgoing edge. You can easily see here, this two has one outgoing edge here and one is here. Which means that, oh, it is not the graph which I would expect in my problem. Which means I have to remove some edge. I just, let's say, remove this one edge. Now you can easily see, okay, I have just one cycle. Or you can easily say, okay, Aryan, here the five also, it has one outgoing edge is here, one is here. Cool, no worries. Now I remove this. So now a problem would look something like this. Okay, I have a graph in which I have one cycle. Did you see one thing? You notice one thing. If I had this node and it is forming a cycle, one thing I'm about to say, and you will verify is it correct or not particular node let's say two if it is in a cycle it will only be in one cycle you saw here the two was in both the cycles here also and here also because it has two outgoing edges so it can be possible that okay a node can be in two cycles but if the node has only one outgoing edge which means that okay this node is, is connected to a node so it is also in that cycle it is also had one outgoing edge it is also connected in that cycle it has one outgoing edge it is also connected in the cycle it has one outgoing edge it is also connected it has one it is also connected so basically all are just saying okay my next one is connected to me and is also in the same cycle and he is restricted he is committed to only 
connect to me. So all of us will always remain in one cycle because it can't go outside. Any one of them, it can't go outside to just make another cycle. Thus, one thing we can say for sure, if a node is there, then it will form one cycle only. If it forms. So basically, if the node is here, as you can say, if I start from here, so it will form a one cycle. You can easily see here, it is not forming, but if it, it could have formed, so it could have formed one cycle. But one node will only form one cycle. That is one thing which you need to take in mind, which we derived how we saw if it, it had more than one edges, outgoing edges, how would it would have gone and all that stuff. So we just derived that, okay, one node, it can only be in one cycle. It will help us a lot. Let's see now. Okay. So firstly, let's see example to just go into more deep. If edges is there, which means three is there. So basically it just shows me that I has an edge, which means I is zero, right? So zero has an edge to edge of I, edge of zero, edge of zero is nothing but three. So it just shows, okay, I have an edge from zero to three and same goes for one to three. I have an edge. I have an edge from zero to three. I have an edge from one to three. I have an edge from two to four. 2 to 4. It just shows, okay, we can make a graph like this. But, let's say after we made the, made the graph. Cool, no worries. We had to find the length of the longest cycle. We will find the length of the longest cycle. But, firstly, let's find the length of all the cycles. So, to find the length of all the cycles, cycle, we can go to any node. We can start from any node. Let's say if I take this example again, if I start from two, then I'm pretty sure if there is a cycle, it will just go on, go on, go on and will land back to two, just showing me, okay, I had a cycle and it was with two. So I can just pretty easily say that if I start from a node and land back to it, so I get a cycle and for sure that particular node whichever node is in that cycle here in the example two three four five six all these nodes will never ever contribute in forming cycle with any other node as i said if they are contributing to a cycle to me they are committed to me they can't form cycle with any other node so i can just do one thing as i know that okay one node can only form one cycle i can just run a EFS on let's say let's say any node I start from this node 2 it will just go on go on go on see a DFS is just go on go on go on until the depth it will just go on go on go on go on if it reach back to me ha ah, I found a cycle I can just track the length of the cycle via a distance map or something but the point is I started from a node I just did a EFS, I landed back to a node, I told, oh, I found a cycle. It is the only thing which I have to do. I just start doing a DFS. I just land back to a node. I can say, okay, I found the cycle. To keep the track of the length of the cycle, I will just keep a distance map or something, hash map in Java. And ultimately, I'll just move on to every node, every node, try to find every possible length of cycle. Ultimately, I can choose the maximum length of cycle. It is ultimately what we have to do in the problem. So it just reduced down to just doing a standard TFS on this problem of graph and just finding the length of cycle at each iteration which we do. Let's see the code pretty quickly, but after code, I will also dry run the code with you guys so that you can actually understand, okay, how this distance is being calculated. Because the issue we have understood, we can just do a standard a DFS, but how the distance is being calculated, that is a bit tricky, which might, you might, although if you are good at distances, then it might be easy, but I'll show you guys, but let's see the code pretty quickly. Firstly, we just had this n and visited array, which will actually help me to visit every node exactly once so that I can just have a com complexity of O of n because I'm just visiting every node exactly once. So space and time is both O of n because of this visited. I visit every node exactly once because of in a DFS. Cool. Now I just move on to every node, right? If it is not visited, I try to visit it. This distance will keep the track of the length 
of the cycle which it can form i'll show how but it will keep a track okay how much length of the cycle it can be possible i initialized initially it, it is one if i start from a node i the distance is one as simple as that then i just did a dfs if this no worries if you're not understanding what is happening i'll try and exactly what is happening but firstly let's see then i just move on to a function of dfs it just starts a node it firstly it marks if i'm starting from me i'm the root node i'll mark myself as visited which means visit is true i'll find the neighbor as i said that a node it can have at most one edge outgoing edge which means that the neighbor will also be one either it can be minus one or a value minus one shows no neighbor at all value shows one neighbor so it will just be a minus one or a value but it will be exactly one now i just move on to this condition it just says okay if i'm standing a node right um i have a neighbor and it is not visited simply go and visit it i have a neighbor it is not visited just go and visit it which means firstly increase its distance i am coming from my distance to the next value next neighbor so i just i should increase its its, its distance so i just increase its distance of neighbor by the from node plus one then i just move on to a neighbor which means again a dfs of neighbor although you can also apply dfs in this algorithm it's pretty easy but as i recommend anywhere where anywhere uh, if you can apply both bfs and dfs sometimes a dfs is pretty easy to write rather than a dfs rather than a bfs uh, but you can also write a, a bfs for the algorithm and it's pretty easy to write exactly the same because we are just moving on to every node for the cycle now next is what if my neighbor is there which means my neighbor is not equal to minus one but 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 it is already visited how will a node is already visited or not in the same cycle it should be visited i'm saying which means that the distance has some value as you can see at every new iteration this distance will get new each time it will get new so in this particular iteration while I am just moving, 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 moving in this particular iteration, I just came back to it. It just shows me, oh, it is forming a cycle. Thus, I can say, I'll just get an answer, which is the maximum, is the existing length of the cycle. And it is the length which I can get. I'll just show how this length came. But for now, understand, okay, it, the length came by distance of node minus neighbor plus one. I'll show exactly how it came. Now let's see how everything works. So firstly, we are we initial, we like move on from i equal to zero to n, move on to loop. So every node we start from initial beginning. I am at zero node. Its distance is one initially. No worries. And after that, I just have to do a TFS. If I do a TFS, I mark my node of zero as visited. Cool. I just go on to its neighbors. Neighbor is exactly one. I just reached three. Now I just mark three as visited. Okay, it's visited. I'll mark because it is now. I have visited it now. It was not earlier visited. So I just increase its distance, which is like nothing but distance of zero, which was one plus one because I just moved from zero to three. So it is two. Its distance is two now. Again, I have to do a TFS of three. I just moved on to a next node, which is two. I just I just reached two. Cool, no worries. I just firstly marked as visited. Then I just increase its distance by three plus one, which means what was three distance? It was two plus one. It happened, so just went to three. And I have to also mark again a TFS of three, so that it can move to four. Okay, cool, no worries. It moved to four. Again, I marked it as visited. Again, I found the distance because it was not visited again. So again, I found the distance. I just get it as four. What was three plus one? Go to four. And again, I did a, a EFS of four. Now you can see that, okay, it is the node. As it goes on, it will just, because it was there like this. Its neighbor is three, which was actually visited. How we know in the same cycle, it has been visited because of this distance thing. In this one loop, this distance thing always remain intact. In the next iteration, it will just again refresh. 
सो हेयर फॉर नाउ ओके माई वेयर वॉज आई या हेयर फॉर नाउ माई नेबर इज थ्री माई नोड इज फोर आई विल से आर्यन या आई नो ओके आई फोन अ साइकिल बट वॉट इज द लेंथ ऑफ साइकिल यू आर सेंग समथिंग राइट टू फाइन लेंथ ऑफ साइकिल समथिंग समथिंग बट देयर या वी हैव रीच्ड फोर माई नोड इज फोर माई नेबर इज थ्री राइट नाउ एंड वी नो ओके वी हैव फाउंड द लेंथ बिकॉज इट वॉज ऑलरेडी विजिटेड वॉट वॉज द लेंथ लाइक वॉट दिस डिस्टेंस टू रिप्रेजेंट इट रिप्रेजेंट इफ आई स्टार्ट इट फ्रॉम जीरो देन See what this his sense of three as two represents. If I started from zero, then I just reach three. It is this his sense which is two. What is what this his sense of four as four represents? I I started from zero. I just moved on, moved on to three, then two, then four, and then here. So it is what his sense of four represents, right? If I just don't want this particular portion, so I can just subtract. Distance of node, which means the node right here, and the neighbor was three minus neighbor plus one because it is it is four minus two. It will just give me a two, but the length of cycle is three. So I just did a four minus two plus one. Sorry, yeah, it is distance of three is two. Four minus two plus one, I get a three, which is actually the length of this cycle, which is this three. By this, I just got to know okay, hey where yeah. I just got to know what was the length of the cycle, and at each iteration, I'm just maximizing this length. And that's it. It was a simple DFS which we can apply in this algorithm to actually get the answer. I hope that you guys liked it. You got the intuition, okay? How we thought initially that okay, how ah uh, we can just go on to a simple DFS and not think about much because each node can only be in one cycle, and I just want to find the length of the cycle on that stuff. I hope that you guys liked it. If yes, then do hit the like button. It helps motivate a lot. And see you in the next video. Goodbye. Take care.